coffee? Anything fast? We're about to close. No, just something light. A banana split? No, I'll have a double bacon avo burger with cheese and fries. Hold the mail. Double death wish. No mail. What's a five-letter word for color of night? Black? No, no, K-N-I-G-H-T. White. Figures. Cups? D. people in places just like this. They won't need more. My God, who are you people? What do you do? This is what we do.
are you here? Tongue cut out. I know. I took it off the hook. Just put it back on. Frank, how can you live like this? When are you going to fix up this place? I don't live here. I sleep here. Uh, you want 10 minutes on California divorce laws? Oh, come on, Frank. Donna divorced you, remember? And she took you, too. What'd she take? She left everything right down to her plastic slippers with a pink tassel. She took your time, Frank. She took what? Eight years? It's quite a lot. Coffee? No. Thanks. I took her time, too, Charlie. I took eight years from her. You don't know what that means. She's never been married. What? What? I don't know what what means. I don't know. I don't know anything. I haven't had an original thought in 20 years. Sam! Hey, boy! Come on! Come on, Sam! besides the M.O. is that they are not connected. The commissioner wants a strike force on it, Frank. Find him. Figure it out, Frank. And try and figure it out today. Today? Come on, Herb, for the love of... Tuesday. He hits on Tuesday. By the way, you still that house yet? That dump you live in? Dump? Dump? You want to know the monthly payments? The rain says you're to look at one of those condominiums they're building down at the bottom of Sunset near the beach. She says they're nice. So buy one for her. You're impossible. You were born impossible. Well, she checked any tie-ins. Business, bank, school, military, political, hobby, travel. Sorry. You're still impossible. I should probably congratulate you on the action last night. Probably. No, sir, 
Well, those two won't be suing anyone else in restaurants. Well, we're sorry about the damage we did to your place, and we'll take care of it. Okay? Okay, bye. Okay, we got another one, which is exactly why this unit was formed. Thanks for the vacation. No pattern, no time to find the pattern. We gotta move fast. All we have is a day of the killings. Always Tuesday, five in a row. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Number six, maybe. No pair tie-in victim to victim except the M.O. Which is the same. What's the M.O.? So what's the M.O.? Decapitation. Victims and run down the leaves. Who made the coffee? Gun, Gun there. Yeah. You take Allen and Benson. Rosie, you've got Gardino and Horton. I'll take Abigail Coven. Hey, how come we both got two and you only got one? Because I did the splitting. I'd like to claim a foul. I second that. Denied. Your dinner right here in the bag, huh? Here we go. Come on, Sam. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get your feet up. Come on, come on. Okay. 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 Come back, we'll talk about those five Tuesday killings in great detail. I'm out of here and I'm going to answer the phone. Raincoat brigade in here. What's he gonna do? Use his flashlight? Light up their life? Go on, please, Mr. Thomas. So, uh, she came to my office, which is right near the candy counter, and she said the saw screwed up or something. And the take up reel was going around, flap, flap, flap. I could hear it on the stairs, and I came up, and the door was just a little bit open. I pushed it open some more, and uh, it was there, and most of them, the rest of them was over there. Well, the stairwell's by the men's room, as you saw, Frank. There's no lock in that door, no lock in this door. Looks like easy in, easy out. Locks are against fire laws. Tell me about Mr. Krensky a little. Did you like him? That's a curious question. Yeah, yeah, I liked him. Union man, been here 12 years. Nice man. 
Nice enough wife, two grown kids. Love the movies. Yeah. All the other guys that carried a book. Not him. He watched the movies over and over again. Never missed a cue, never missed a real change. Now, it must be a mistake. They got the wrong guy, that's all it can be. Was Mr. Kresge ever sick? Take a leave of absence, gone for a long time? Never. Twelve years, solid as a rock. Don't you understand? He was a decent man. A decent man. and the deputy medical examiner. He's Murphy and I'm Gunner. How do you do, sir? You're here on the decaps. The decaps? I see you kept an out the papers. And we haven't done anything, Dr. Sison. We just took it over. My people are asking the same questions everyone else has asked. One day into the assignment, we've been delivered number six. Now, you've done all five previous autopsies, Doctor. That's why we're here. Which one are you? Murphy. Ah, oh, Murphy. Captain Murphy. Captain Murphy, strike force. They're all about you people. Shot and killed those two guys Sunday night. I don't like you very much, Dr. Sison. Am I permitted to say that? Help yourself. <laughs> Doctor, from that wound, can you tell if it's the same ammo as the other side? An edged weapon, good size. Like what? Mm, something strong, heavy. Ever seen the blade of a guillotine? Or an axe? you carry an axe around in a movie theater, even if you had a raincoat. <laughs> That's from Mick, huh? Is he Irish? I'm Irish. I won't tell him. Around, what are we supposed to do? Find the connection. Frank, it's almost midnight. That's so. Nothing. No. That's not good enough. There's a pattern. We don't see it, but it's there. It's got to be. We can't find the pattern connection because there is none. Maybe they are at random. Forget it, then we're doomed. It had to come along, didn't it? It had to happen. Human beings have done about everything else. What's left? Just killing for the hell of it. Mr. Allen, by name, is all alone. It's taken out. Next 
week, Mr. Benson, another insurance man. In his car? In his car. Parked on the street. Then the little ice cream salesman. Mr. Gardino. Also on the street at night in Venice. And there's the housewife, Mrs. Horton. Sitting at her kitchen table reading the morning paper. And a student at SMC, Abigail Colburn. Alone indeed, whatever lab she was in. Finally, Mr. Krensky. Executed. Alone. This projection booth. He wasn't alone. Four more to go with everything, please. What do you say? Four more to go. No, no. Not now. How about French people? The projection booth. What's that execute? Never occurred to me. I mean, the blade is the oldest device used for that purpose. Even the coroner mentioned the guillotine blade. I don't follow you. Possible that they just weren't still, but they were executed? Executions are not random. Is the end result of a set was passed. That could be our connection. Where? What the hell's wrong with you? Execution's a sentence. Judgment for a crime, a grave crime. Oh, wait a minute. None of the victims was a criminal of any kind. I mean, what have we got? We got six traffic violations and a credit screw up. Oh. These people were all decent people. Oh, that's what we think. Huh? That's what we know. All oh, right, that's what we know. But the executioner doesn't know that or think that. Quite the contrary. He thinks they've committed a crime. Michael Savar said he knows they've committed a crime. That's our connection? Loud and clear as a bloody bell. What? What's loud and clear as a bloody bell? What's this telling us? I have no idea. Yesterday, going through the tapes again, social welfare department, building department, department of health and hospitals, even a fire marshal tape, looking for our six names together. Well, I found them. Here, and here, Coben, Gardino, Benson, they're all here, all six of them. The Board of Elections. Terrific. So they all vote. We already know they're upstanding, decent people. Yeah, but it is a connection. There are 150 million voters. Were they all Democrats, all, all Republicans, all Communists? Maybe a bunch of Nazis are out knocking off Communists. You got two Republicans, three Democrats, and a Socialist. <sighs> Wonderful. I don't know what it means either. Murphy said, find a connection. I found one. He did good, Mark. I just wish I was smart enough to take it somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to see Klein. A little pressure? It's Tuesday. I don't like that very much. Neither does he. He had a wife. He did. Donna. Right. Oh, you know, when people get married late, like in their 40s, they tend to be on their best behavior during courtship. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, they want it to work out so much. She was awful. I mean, she was attractive enough in the right light. But manipulating and spoiled and pouty. Sexy. She's sexy. He adored her. Ooh. For a time. It's your opinion, obviously. It's not his. This is true. So what finally happened? She left him. For crook. Business crook. Type that does it with a briefcase. You know what today is, Frank? It's Tuesday. And you haven't got it. What have you got? A medievalist walking around town with an axe. A classicist knocking off your decent citizens. The boss is across town doing pirouettes. Why is he a little... Not with me. You're changing the subject. You're trying to leave. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Tell me, Frank. Is your strike force going to strike? Or are we kidding ourselves? We're on the line with this one. You're on the line. I'm on the line with this one. This is it. This one, Frank. Do it. A nice looking suit. No else, Strong. No blacks. For a change. Black coat. Yeah, sometimes I wonder why. 
Strike Force Osborne. Yeah. For you, Klein. Hello, Herbert. Long time no see. Number seven. Well, we got a minority. Mexico. Mexican, huh? No, black. Seventy-year-old black lady. to keep busy. It's about the only thing I can do. Well, it's fixing this up for us. You know, I should have been with her. Maybe if I had been with her, it wouldn't have happened. Or maybe he would have killed me too. You think this crazy person is from Los Angeles? Yep. Yeah, well, that's the place for it. That's why you're famous out there. Famous for the crazy people. You've been there then, Mr. Langhorn? I was born there. We both were. We lived there. You lived there? Sure. When did you move here? Last year. We are both retired, you know. We were just going to kind of sit around and watch the sunset. Our son translates at the concert. My grandchildren. L.A. got so expensive, and we live better here. You're lying on as your wife vote. Was she a registered voter? Sure, we both were. And we voted. You got to vote, don't you? You end up choosing the bad against the worse, of course. She was a, we both were good citizens. And that ain't always easy. No, it isn't. But we voted and paid our taxes and did jury duty. And no one is questioning that, Mr. Langhorn. It's just that the other people, the other victims, like your wife, had nothing at all in common. Wait a minute. <laughs> figured it out. He can't believe it. And then he says it. And he's right. It was simple. So what are you going to tell us? You're just going to milk it to death. You know you're worse than he is. Jury duty. That's the connection. Jurors are picked from the voting pool. They were all voters. I had that. 
I had that connection. Didn't I have that? Oh, sure, you had that. Frank thinks they may have all been on the same jury. So we called Rosie, and she's digging it out. And whatever case they judge could well be the answer. And the guy they sent up is out, and now he's cutting them all down. Yes, indeed. You know, it could be. Could be. I got it. I got it. He was right. All seven of them on the same jury. All seven of them. And the names and addresses and phone numbers of the rest of the jurors. All five of them. So where is he in my moment of glory? He's across the hall. What kind of case? What do you mean, what kind of case? Civil, criminal. Oh, criminal. Wonderful. Wait, I got it written down here. People of California, blah, 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 versus Stockton. Stockton? Yeah, Mary Louise Stockton. Well, there goes that theory. A woman? Well, sure, a strong woman. A strong woman. Well, is he happy? Oh, but he's less unhappy. What do you got? Your jury, or at least the five living members. Uh, Chester Leon, the Palisades, Patricia Maynard, 4th Street, Santa Monica, Fran Williams. Who knows what sex that is on Whitworth Avenue. Gaylord Mindip. It's a good one. Gaylord Mindip, Argyle Street, Hollywood. Oh, that figures. And uh, Juliana, Jennifer, Veronica Trumbull, Allingham Court, also Hollywood. You get Leon. Chuck, you take Maynard. Paul, you've got Williams. You've got Trumbull and me. Where are you going? To prison. Check out Mary Louise Stock. Captain Murphy, this is Deputy Warden Bauer. I've uh, pulled a Stockton file. He's had a copy made, which I'll give him. Thank you. Quite a handful. Tough lady. A lot of trouble with Stockton. Bezelman, as I recall. He was a branch manager of a bank in Mar Vista. Took him for close to 80 grand. Well, how can I help, Captain? Questions or what? You tell me. I appreciate it, huh? It's the most important thing for me is to see her. It's imperative I talk to her. Talk to her. Is that a problem? Oh, I'm uh, sorry. We uh, didn't have any publicity on this. We uh, tried to keep it quiet. Keep what quiet? That she's been dead for six months. I thought that's why you were here. Routine investigation. How'd she die? She was murdered. We don't know who did it. I uh, assume that's why you were here. It was a mess, Captain. Decapitation? How the hell did you know that? Patricia Maynard? I'd like to talk to you about a jury you were on a couple of years ago. We're seeking certain information. I'll talk. Could I come in, ma'am? It would be easier. By whom? By you. Lieutenant Gunzer, ma'am. Remember? Just a minute. Can't be too careful, Lieutenant. Streets are filled with crazies. I quite agree. And I think maybe it's something we ought to talk about. Especially between now and Tuesday. May I come in?
like that. I didn't luck out. Uh, you'll have to take my word for it, Mr. Williams. You lucked out, but uh, you'll never know how much till I tell you if you let me inside. Of course, we can. We could always talk out here. Well, I can handle it if you can. Follow me. Building is set to blow a week from Thursday. The old Beale building goes on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, we have all the permits. City planning, security, traffic control, all set and okay. Fine. Okay, talk to you later. Oh, what can I do for you, Hanson? I'm looking for Chester Leadham. <laughs> so am I. That turkey went to lunch three hours ago and he's not back yet. Oh, look, here. Uh, he left his number. He's been busy, though. Thanks. You there? You bet your blasting cap. Chester Leadham, his boss gave me this address. Why? I'd like to talk to him. Why? I'm Detective Osborne, and it's a personal matter. Come on in, honey. Okay, now that you're in here, you can't bust me without a search warrant. Why don't you just buzz off? Now look, lady, I don't want to bust you. I just want to talk to Chester Leadham. He may be in big trouble. The only one in big trouble here is you, sir. I ain't gonna say it again. Buzz off. Somebody thinks that Mary Louise is innocent. Friend, lover, relative, some crazy nut. Terrific. We're back to 150 million suspects. So what's your next move? We covered all the remaining jurors except the elusive Mr. Leadham. Mark? Well, we've been looking for him for four days. He has no record. He lives with and supports his mother. And we can't find him. He has gone to ground. We're working on the girl he was with. Oh, get this. 100 arrests. No convictions. He visits her a lot. I got her address from his boss. Nothing else from her prints, if they are her prints. And his mother's house is a rental, and they've had it for three years. The landlord knows nothing. Leadham paid the rent in cash, and the neighbors know nothing, which is typical of the Palisades. All we have on Leadham is he's born in California, voted, was a member of the Stockton jury, and doesn't want to talk to us. Everybody, including the sheriff's department, is looking for him. By the way, he blows up old buildings for a living. If we can't find him, maybe the murderer can't either. Unless he's the murderer. You say he blows up buildings? Yeah, for North American demolition. We gotta find him. Tomorrow's another Tuesday, Frank. Why was Mary Louise murdered? She was sent to prison. She wasn't ready for it. Some of the local talent began coming on to her. She went to the warden. They didn't like that much. So a group of the inmates jumped her, held her down. Somebody grabbed her by the hair, stretched out her neck. I gotta go to work. I got a lot to do. I got requisitions to sign. I gotta decide today, today, 
between manual or electric pencil sharpeners. That's what I do. Thank you very much for the briefing, and it certainly was brief. I get out of here. What are we doing in this business, Evan? Well, you're a Mick, and that's all Micks can do. But who ever heard of a Jewish detective? Uh, tell me something, Frank. Uh, that word, uh, Mick, that's considered derogatory? I mean, uh, by you, Mix. <laughs> that may be the last lap of the week. Where do we stop to? Prison file, trial transcript, police docket. Now, I want each one of you to get Frank, out there and to cover the pep talkers. Right. You're absolutely right. So get your butts out of here and let's wrap this up. Character witnesses of the trial, let's start with them. Charlie and I are going to go see Miss Stockton's parents. How did you find them? Look them up in the phone book. It's called deductive thinking. <laughs> Actually, the first victim was in the newspapers. The starting of the second one, the department or someone put the lid on. Dear God, isn't one death enough? The world has gone crazy. And, and people are the proof. Would you like some more coffee? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, here, I'll get it for you. So what we have, Mr. Stockton, is somebody taking revenge for your daughter's death. Someone who figures the jury is responsible for sending your daughter to prison. Ultimately responsible for her death there. We hope you can help us. We don't know of anyone who would. We can give you a list of uh, Mary Louise's friends and uh, anyone that we can think of who ever knew her and, and, and our friends. Anybody. Of course, we'll do anything we can to help. We can not only give you lists, we can give you judgments. Certainly, sir. Aggressive bone ulcers, both legs. I'm sorry. Well, there is a cure. Amputation. May I introduce our son, Philip? Philip, this is Captain Murphy. How do you Lieutenant do? Lieutenant Gunther. How do you? They're here to help us concerning your sister's death. Oh, are you from the prison? No, sir. He must be a basketball player. <laughs> he plays anything. Uh, listen, I have to go to Randy's, Mom. We're going to pick up morning and in and get some deeds. So I probably won't be back till around two or so. Uh, it was nice to meet you. Thank you, Mr. Stockton. Call you later. Uh, thank you. Yo. Get Philip back here. Tuesday. I'm talking about our plans for tomorrow. You can't mean that. I do mean it. They were just here. The police. So what? They're investigating. They're coming back here. How can they not find out? You've forgotten your little daughter. Oh, you used to swing her around. How she'd laugh. That party dress. You loved that dress more than she did. You forgot all that. How we sat up and waited when she went out on her first date. How mad you got at that boy. You want to throw our daughter away like they did? to prison. No more dates. No more party dresses. Just those women. Those filthy women coming at her. My little girl. Making her dirty. Finally, that Tuesday, her down and they mutilated her all 
because those 12 scum found her guilty. Our daughter. They must die like she did. Stockton's character witnesses. Now, I think they're all above suspicion. We got four from the bank, including the guy that turned her in, two male bimbos she dated, uh, two college classmates, father of her high school boyfriend, oh, the boyfriend was killed in the Peace Corps, and her landlord and his wife. <laughs> he was wearing a T-shirt that said, Jesus loves Hawaii, and a man named Peter Parker McNair. Her attorney? Yeah. Now, he implied she did take the money. Her own attorney thought she did it? Well, I had her dead to rights. Read the trial transcript. I'm pretty sure Mac, Mac, are you ready? Oh, not again. Come on, guys. Are we bothering you? After you. Oh, no, 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 I insist. No, no, please, please, I insist. The Stockton family, right? Right. Mr. and Mrs. Stockton, Walter and Evelyn, right? Right. Their daughter, Mary Louise, right? Right. Their son, Philip, right? Wrong. They had only one child, Mary Louise. At your suggestion, we talked to their pediatrician and their obstetrician. They don't have a son, and they never did. Would you like to hear who did have a sign? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The jock type that we saw out there today is not Mary Louise's brother. He's Mary Louise's son. Well, so what? Maybe the grandparents just didn't want to have to explain to the kid that his mother was a con. Possible. So they'd lie to their friends, why lie to us? Who is doing what to whom here? Please, that's your... Mark, oh, Please. I just want to talk to you. Come in, Mr. Leadham. We'd like to talk to you, too. We want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Leadham. I'm sorry I ran. But when your officer found me at that place, <laughs> I thought it was a raid. <laughs> My mother ever found out that I. You understand? We understand. What made you finally come in? The newspaper. It, it broke in the newspapers today. And I realized I was on that jury. Even when I read it, I, I couldn't decide. Because of my mother and all? I waited outside all day trying to get up the nerve. And I'll be croaking, Mr. Leader. That's fine. I want to thank you for coming in. But you'll be cooperating with us tomorrow. You're 
Sure. Sure it's going to work? Absolutely. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Since when are you absolutely sure anything's going to work? Well, what can go wrong? You'll only be working with one crazy man and two million tons of dynamite. Set by 6 a.m. You ready? I don't know. I hope so. Can I ask a question? Probably not. Everything's set up for Leadham. How do we know he's going to be next? I take it back. It's not a bad question. Put in the phone book. See you in the morning. Alphabetical. They're doing it alphabetically. And Leadham's going to be next. Got it, kiddo. Guns, or don't you? Yeah. So? How come you two never get together? I only loved one man in my life. He had everything for me. Mr. Wright. Guy on the white horse. Next to him, anybody else would only get compared. I do that to nice guys. Where'd he run off to? Missing in action. Five today. Birthday was tonight. You weren't there? That's what my wife said. I said I wanted to be there, but I was here because I wanted him to grow up to be six. What's cooking? How about a chili dog? Strobes. Well, it's still beside you, one block over. Hey, Ken, you awake? Barely, but I'm here. <laughs> Guns? Hello. He's on his way. Lead him on schedule. Okay. Remember the guy in the wheelchair? Yeah. Well, he's got a new set of wheels. Silver, I'll meet you at the corner.
on him. Go, Rosie. Hey, Taylor, want some more coffee? Uh, uh, no, thanks. Like I told you before, there ain't nothing gonna happen at the building till you guys get out of there. Now, the button is locked up in the trailer, and I got the only key. do that, that'll start the sequence. That building will blow in 30 seconds, everybody in there will be killed. Yes. You'll go with them if you don't push that button. I have to go on alone now. And if I have to find the right button to push, I will. But if you'll do it, you'll live. If you won't,
What happened to you, Captain? What's going on? Sniper. Must have fired from across the street. Squad guys just left, Captain. Nothing. Division sending some boys down to check the whole area. Maybe somebody saw something, but he sure as hell isn't here now. Who's that? Well, we can't get much out of him. He's in shock and he won't move. He saw it. The kid that was killed was his friend. His best friend. His name is Tim. I want you guys to fan out over the entire area, cover it with a fine-tooth comb. I want that damn gun. I get it. Look, we know it's a long shot, Frank. He was sitting on it. That's why he wouldn't move. It was his father's gun. He barred it. He was gonna shoot some squirrels. on nine partner it's western time so stay with us for adventure on the ponderosa with bonanza 